Parker Mary Shores Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. Welcome to the new subscribers. I certainly do thank you. If you're just passing through and just catching the video, please can please consider a subscription to my channel. It would help me out greatly. The 2030 United Nations agenda is alive and well. It is escalating rapidly. It has been in the news numerous times. And the uh, liberal left-wing agenda is no longer hiding it. They're bragging about it, and they don't care how bad it hurts the people here in the United States, but also across the world. First off, Bumbling Joe went to Saudi Arabia to beg them for more oil production. They are already at max capacity, and they have no intention of doing anything extra. They look at Joe and say, look, dummy, you have your own oil. Don't come over here panhandling to us. And insulting us when you go on the other side of the world. Uh, we're doing what we can do. And why should we produce more? We're making money hand over fist. Not only that. Saudi Arabia is buying Russian oil. Which is below market cost. And they're buying it a million barrels a week. And probably will end up selling it to us. At you know their going rate. So... The embargo against Russia is not working, folks. While there, Joe Biden also said, we need you, meaning the Saudis, to get on with the Green New Deal sustainable energy and start buying and installing and changing over to renewable energies. Let's get off fossil fuels and go to solar and wind. And they're looking at it like, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll do that. We'll cut off our fossil fuels so we can make the world go better and greener. Yeah, that's not going to happen. But he's a bumbling idiot, and he has to spout off the United Nations 2030 agenda. Meanwhile, you have the Energy Secretary and the Transportation Secretary going on all the liberal channels and bragging about how the high cost of gasoline, our fuel, is making, and that's the key word, making people go buy electric vehicles. You have that Buddha judge, the complete incompetent fool, bragging about how the high price of gasoline is forcing people into electric vehicles. And that due to a competition, the electric vehicle prices are coming down. But in the meantime, people are going to feel the pain at the pump to remind them that this is a man-made, created economic disaster designed to force you into said electric vehicles. Then you have the Energy Secretary Granholm, another traitor to the United States, bragging about how cutting... The uh, fossil fuels is saving the climate, actually helping reverse the temperature change by 2050, estimated of one and a half degrees higher. In the meantime, we're suffering, and the farmers, not only here, but also abroad in the Netherlands, who is, by the way, the second largest produce growing and exporter in the European Union has had their nitrogen fertilizers reduced by 70%, forcing many of them out of business so that the Green New Deal, the 2030 agenda, the unelected bureaucrats can scoop up their once productive land and build housing apartments for the migration so that everybody can have an equal opportunity. They're going to flood the Netherlands and Holland with Muslim immigrants and African immigrants and have housing on once farming land, creating another food shortage and making more people dependent on government handouts and that's what this is all about it's not about the global warming it's nonsense it's about 
the one world order. And if you don't believe me, please read for yourself. United Nations Sustainable Living 2030 Agenda. It's all lined out right there. Germany, who has shut down their nuclear, is now having to restart some of their coal fire plants. And by the way, they've asked their people who have electric cars, please don't charge your cars during the busiest time of the day from 5 to 9 p.m. There's not enough electricity on the grid for you to plug in all your electrical vehicles and not cause blackouts in our already strained infrastructure. Stupidity, cruelty, and global dominance is what's coming back. The good thing is people are catching on to this and they are fighting back. You see the Dutch farmers protesting en masse with their tractors, protesting and stuff like that, saying, no, we're not buying into this. People are waking up because the pain at the pump, the cost of inflation at 9.1%, and it's actually higher than that here in the United States, people are saying, this is nonsense. I didn't sign on for Green New Deal to have my wages go in the hole by almost 5%. Monday, a railroad strike could happen. Maybe it will. The Transporta Transportation Secretary Buttigieg has no clue what he's doing or how to do it. All he cares about is creating the shortages. The railroad workers uh, supposedly haven't had a raise in over three years. I would give it to them to keep things flowing as best they can because if a railroad strike happens now, the United States economy, and if it's for an extended period of time, with a diesel fuel over $5 a gallon, we cannot ship enough freight across the United States by truck. We have to have rail. And if the train stops moving, you will see shortages like you've never seen before, and the economy will collapse. And this is all by design. If the strike happens, if the strike happens, if they say, we're not giving you any more raises because we can't afford it ourselves, we're not making any money, we don't have enough freight to haul because of the backlog from the ships still waiting off the port of L.A., and the transportation secretary has no clue what he's doing, if this occurs, we will see a major collapse in the United States economy. Let's hope the strike does not occur. Let's hope more people wake up, get these bums out of office, starting with Buttigieg, Granholm, and all the other people. Let's impeach them, overthrow them, get them out. Just some thoughts, just some ideas. I welcome the new subscribers. I certainly do appreciate you. Get yourself right with God. Ask for forgiveness for your sins. Get baptized, submerged in water in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to need it. Be well. Greg out.